The Jetta is a good-looking, peppy car that gets great gas mileage and doesn't break the bank. At least that's how it appears on the surface. So let's dig in and find out what it's all about. This model is the 1.4T, meaning it has a 1.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder, making 150 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque. You can upgrade to a 1.8T and a 2.0T, making 170 horsepower and 210 horsepower, respectively. There's two transmission options on the Jetta SE, which is the trim level we're doing today. You've got a six-speed automatic and a five-speed manual. Now, the top-of-the-line GLI trim has the option of a six-speed DSG, which is a fantastic transmission, and also the option of a six-speed manual. But even with this base six-speed automatic, at sixth gear, at 60 miles an hour, it's turning just 1,800 RPMs, which means a fuel economy of 40 miles per gallon on the highway. This car has the SE trim, which in Volkswagen speak means it has upgraded wheels and a sunroof above the base Model S. The SEL is above that with better wheels yet again and the 1.8T, and the GLI sits at the top of the line with a sportier look to it and a faster engine. The Jetta offers an impressive amount of standard features for the price. The SE starts at $22,000. They don't just try to get the base price as low as possible and then absolutely destroy you when you try to add options to it. You've got blind spot monitoring, you've got a 6.3 inch touchscreen, you've got Bluetooth, a USB port, heated seats, a sunroof, and more. It's pretty impressive. So what's the car like to drive? Well, obviously it's not the quickest car out there with a 1.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder. However, I am impressed with the initial depression of the gas pedal, the car feels eager to go. Especially in sport mode, the throttle response is really great. When you put the car into manual mode, the car shifts really quickly. I'm actually surprised, actually, sometimes better than some sport sedans, which is pretty crazy to think about. Steering is nice and light, but it is direct. This car does actually feel like it wants to go around turns. Just the smallest bit of turn in on the wheel does actually cause the car to move. I'm pretty impressed. Brakes is where the car suffers. The initial depression of the brake pedal does practically nothing and you really have to push a hard on the brakes to get this car to slow down. The Jetta rides over bumps well. It's pretty isolated from the road. The GLI trim comes with sport suspension, which means the ride is obviously harsher, but translates into a more rewarding driving experience. You don't have paddles mounted on the steering wheel, which I actually appreciate. Putting paddle shifters in a car just to have them when it isn't a sports car really seems like a waste of money and a waste of space. You've got tons of functionality on the steering wheel itself from changing the channel, volume, voice control, and more. Exterior wise, the Jetta is very simple, but it does work. The LED daytime running lights look good, as do the horizontally oriented grills. From the back, it's even more simple, although the tail lights read Audi A4 and not economy car. In the back, you've got tons of legroom. It's actually impressive for a compact sedan how much legroom you really have. And the kicker is how much trunk space you have. It's class leading and it's actually closer to a mid-sized sedan than is a compact sedan with 15.5 cubic feet of space. This really is a car you can take on weekend trips with your friends, store all of their luggage, and get good gas mileage in the process. The actual design language of the interior isn't all that great. I'm not a large fan of this plastic dash. There is a ton of plastic everywhere, and the design of the climate control system looks like it's out of a late 90s car. Overall, the Jetta is a pretty fun to drive, good looking car that's good on fuel and has a ton of standard features. The interior could use a redesign, but that is coming likely in 2018. Some highlights are the peppy engine and a ton of cargo space, as well as a lot of rear seat room. With that, I hope you enjoyed this review. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. Special thanks to Volkswagen North America for providing this car. Look forward to seeing you next video.